Did you know that right now we are staring down the barrel of a gun named Global Food Chain Collapse, a crisis that threatens to leave millions hungry? As we speak, the global food chain is balancing precariously on the edge of instability. An intricate network of producers, suppliers, and consumers, it's like a complex game of dominoes. If one piece falls, the entire chain is at risk. In the heart of the Middle East, tensions are simmering. Unrest and conflict are not only a threat to the people living there, but also to the rest of the world. The region is a key player in the global food chain, producing a significant amount of the world's wheat and other staple foods. Any disruption here sends shockwaves throughout the food chain, leading to potential shortages worldwide. But the threats don't stop there. In other parts of the globe, conflicts are escalating, further destabilizing our already fragile food network. As these tensions rise, so does the risk of a total food chain collapse. Meanwhile, countries are responding to these threats in a way that only exacerbates the situation. Many are stockpiling their harvests, choosing to withhold their produce from the global market. This protectionist approach might serve individual countries in the short term, but it's a strategy that's causing ripples of instability throughout the global food chain. The result? An upcoming crisis of global food shortages. With the world's pantry growing leaner by the day, we're on the precipice of a situation where demand far outstrips supply. And as we've seen in recent history, when food becomes scarce, it's the vulnerable who suffer the most. This isn't a distant dystopian future, it's happening right now. The dominoes are teetering, and the gun named Global Food Chain Collapse is loaded and aimed squarely at us. With the world teetering on the brink of a supply chain crisis, it begs the question, are we prepared? It's a chilling thought that the food on our plates travels an average of 1500 miles before it reaches us. Imagine that for a moment. The apple you're biting into may have journeyed from New Zealand, the coffee you sip could be from the heart of Ethiopia, and the rice in your bowl might have grown under the Vietnamese sun. Our reliance on international food supplies is, in a word, staggering. It's a web of interdependencies, with countries around the world depending on others to fill their grocery shelves and feed their populations. But what's the implication of this, in the event of a global food chain collapse? The answer may be more unsettling than you'd think. Consider the ripple effects of a single food source disruption. An unexpected drought in Brazil, for instance, could cause a global spike in coffee prices affecting not only your morning cup of joe, but also the livelihoods of millions of farmers and workers. Now scale that up to a global level, and you begin to grasp the potential ramifications. It's not just about price hikes or limited availability though. In a world where food supply chains have collapsed, the repercussions could be far more dire. We're talking about potential famine and food shortages, in areas that heavily depend on imports for their sustenance. Take the example of small island nations, Many don't have the capacity to produce all the food they need, relying instead on imports to fill the gap. Should the global food chain collapse, these places could face severe food shortages, with devastating consequences for their populations. It's not just the small players who stand to lose though. Even countries with robust agricultural sectors like the United States are not immune. A collapse would disrupt the delicate balance of imports and exports, causing chaos and potential shortages even in the land of plenty. In the face of a potential collapse, it's clear that we need to rethink our food sources and strategies. The time to start planning for self-sufficiency is now. Because in a world where our food travels 1500 miles to reach us, the journey to resilience starts at our doorstep. It's high time to consider the prepper's pantry, a concept that may be our best bet against the looming food shortages. Imagine a safety net, a buffer against the uncertainty of the world's food supply. That's what a prepper's pantry can be. The prepper's pantry is not just a collection of canned goods and dried foods, it's a well-thought-out reserve of items, carefully selected to provide nutritional needs for a family during unexpected times. It's an insurance of sorts, a safeguard against the unpredictable nature of life, and a testament to the human instinct to survive. Building a prepper's pantry may seem daunting, especially when you're on a budget. But remember, Rome wasn't built in a day. Start small. Prioritize essential items that have a long shelf life. Grains like rice and oats, canned fruits and vegetables, dried beans and pasta, are excellent staples to start with. Don't forget about water. It's suggested to store at least one gallon of water per person per day, for at least three days. And while you're at it, consider adding a water purification method to your pantry, just in case. Food is not the only thing that should be in your prepper's pantry, 
Think about the necessities of daily life. Things like toilet paper, personal hygiene items, basic medical supplies, and even important documents can find a place in your pantry. Remember, the goal is not to hoard, but to slowly and thoughtfully build up a supply of essentials that can sustain you and your family in times of crisis. It's about being self-reliant, about not being completely dependent on a system that has shown it can falter. Investing in a prepper's pantry is investing in peace of mind. It's acknowledging the fact that we live in an increasingly unpredictable world and choosing to take control where we can. Remember, it's not about fear, but preparedness. Prepping isn't just for the end of the world, it's for any time the world as we know it gets a little shaky. So let's start prepping for tomorrow, today. Homesteading, a practice as old as time, may hold the key to surviving the upcoming food shortages. In our rapidly changing world, it's easy to overlook the simple, tried-and-true solutions that have sustained humanity for centuries. One such solution is homesteading. Now you might be thinking, isn't that a thing of the past? Well, far from being outdated, homesteading is making a resurgence and it could be our best tool for securing food independence in the face of an unstable global food chain. But what exactly is homesteading? At its core, it's about self-sufficiency. It's about growing your own food, raising your own livestock, and becoming less reliant on the supermarket shelves. It's a return to the basics, a nod to a simpler time when people knew where their food came from because they were the ones who planted the seeds, tended the crops, and harvested the fruits. Homesteading doesn't mean you have to live off the grid or give up modern conveniences. It's about balance. You can start small, with a vegetable patch in your backyard, or even a few potted herbs on your windowsill. The key is to start somewhere. Now imagine if more people embraced this lifestyle, we could drastically reduce our dependence on the international food supply chain. This could mean fewer people scrambling for limited resources when the supply chain is strained or breaks down. Homesteading also contributes to food security. By growing and preserving your own produce, you're not only ensuring a supply of fresh, nutritious food for yourself and your family, but you're also building a buffer against potential food shortages. And let's not forget the environmental benefits. Homesteading promotes sustainable practices like composting, water conservation, and permaculture. By taking care of the land, we're ensuring it can continue to provide for us in future generations. Homesteading isn't just a trend, it's a lifestyle choice that could make all the difference when the chips are down. So, as we face the possibility of a global food chain collapse, let's remember the wisdom of our ancestors. Let's reclaim our food independence one seed at a time. In the face of a potential global food chain collapse, preparedness is not just a choice, it's a necessity. As we've discussed throughout this video, we're living in a world where the food supply chain is under immense pressure. Tensions in the Middle East, global conflicts and countries hoarding their harvests all contribute to the strain. The precarious balance of our global food chain could tip at any moment, leading to food shortages that would be felt around the world. The reality is, we've become heavily reliant on international food supplies. We import avocados from Mexico, rice from Thailand, and wine from Italy. But what happens when these supply lines are disrupted? That's a question we all need to ask ourselves and more importantly we need to be prepared for the answer. In the midst of these uncertainties we're also facing a potential supply chain crisis in 2023. This could further exacerbate the issues we've been discussing, making preparedness even more crucial. But let's not dwell on the doom and gloom. Instead, let's focus on what we can do to prepare. Start by building a prepper pantry and consider homesteading. With a little foresight and planning, you can ensure that you and your family have access to nutritious food, even in times of crisis. Being a budget prepper doesn't mean you have to spend a fortune. There are plenty of affordable ways to stock your pantry and prepare for a potential food shortage. The key is to start now, before the crisis hits. By taking steps today, you can mitigate the impact of a global food chain collapse and safeguard your family's food supply. Remember, preparedness is not just about hoarding supplies, it's about developing skills, fostering resilience, and building a community that can support each other in times of need. In times of crisis the wise build bridges while the foolish build barriers. Let's choose wisdom and start building our bridges today.